If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. We did not, however, make a determination as to whether the president did commit a crime. So that was special counsel Robert Mueller breaking his silence in the last hour, saying his office couldn't charge President Trump with a crime because of longstanding guidelines of the Department of Justice. Those remarks appearing at odds with what Attorney General William Barr said a few months ago, you'll remember, when he first addressed the release of the special counsel report. Here's what he told reporters then about his conversations with Mueller. Listen. When we met with him, uh, Deputy Attorney General uh, Rosenstein and I met with him on March 5th. We specifically asked him about the OLC opinion and whether or not he was taking the position that he would have found a crime but for the existence of the OLC opinion. And he made it very clear uh, several times that that was not his position. He, he was not saying that but for the OLC opinion, he would have found a crime. He made it clear that he had not made the determination that there was a crime. Mm. Let's bring in Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst. I mean, this discrepancy jumped out at all of us when we were listening. Is there any way to reconcile those two statements so that they both can be true? What Mueller said and what Barr said. Let me start by saying I'd rather be OLG than OLC <laughs> right now. Yeah. My buddy Guy Benson has that, uh, has that role. There's no way to reconcile the uh, discrepancy between the two. This is a he said, he said. But this opinion of the OLC, and the OLC stands for Office of Legal Counsel, these are the legal gurus who do research for the Justice Department. When the Justice Department itself needs to know what the law is, where it's unclear, they get an opinion from the OLC. This OLC report is dated October 16, 2000, and it says that a sitting president should not, not cannot, should not be indicted while still in office because of material disruption to his constitutional duties. Guess what happened 60 days later in late November and early December of 2000? The Justice Department charged Bill Clinton with lying under oath and obstruction of justice. And guess what he did a month later, two weeks before George W. Bush was sworn in as president? Pleaded guilty to lying under oath. This wasn't done by indictment. It was done by what we call an information. That's the document that's filed when the government and the defendant agree on the allegations. That tells you that this OLC report is advisory only. It is not mandatory. It's there to use or it's there not to use, depending on what it's officials want to do. Now, why did Bob Mueller take to the microphones today? I don't know. But this was not good news for the president because he's ginned up all the Democrats yeah. to believe there must be a there there. And it was a parting shot at his soon-to-be former boss, Bill Barr, who basically whitewashed what Mueller said in the four-page yeah. summary he distributed back in March. Okay, absolutely. Judge Napolitano, thank you for clarifying that. I appreciate, we appreciate your time.